Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the Everyday Golfer. Today we have Dave, we have some testing and you will see we are testing the Retro. So the Retro Lofted Ping 430 or G430 irons. So we know Dave's bought some Tacomos but we also saw that a lot of comments wanted Dave to try these with Dave's clubhead speed around about 80 mile an hour with a mid iron. Is he going to launch this better? We've got a, a recoil shaft in there. He's, he's loving his Tacomos. We're not changing, we want to show you how this performs. Again, degrees wise, this is a seven iron from the fitting cart. It is one degree stronger, but there's a lot of technology which we're going to put on the screen now and talk through, which could mean that these are good for Dave because miss hits come off faster. But let's get into it now. What, faster than what? what than the wood if I hit it in middle for once? Well, I mean, we haven't seen the middle of the face for a long no. time, but a seven iron here, guys. So again a more forgiving iron pings most forgiving range here you can get these as you will see on screen in retro specs or you can get them in power loft as they call them but very much designed around having more forgiveness off the off-centered hits increasing ball speed which is what it says a lot and straight away there from dave that is a great shot we've certainly got some distance out of there did dave. So we know these are forgiving, Dave. Would these be a club that you would have gone for a fitting for? Yes, probably. And and as I said, um, they're very nice. They look a bit strange at the back. Top line's quite wide, um, so and wide sole on the bottom. So they should be forgiving, really, shouldn't they? Yeah, so it's got a little bit more bounce on these irons, again, for interaction with the turf. We can see that Dave made some interaction he's cut the grass for the greenkeepers he's not took a divot yeah. but this is where irons here for, for potentially people who dig as well a little bit more bounce or wider sole and something that maybe you haven't thought about again no. not taking divots not something you think a wider sole the top edge is it off putting it, top edge has never been off putting for me if i'm honest chris but i know a lot of golfers you know mid handicappers low handicappers high handicappers do get upset about the fact that if it's really thick at the top it puts them off yeah, well, let's get up there and see how far that has gone. We've got the numbers that we're going to go through shortly. We're going to compare them to the Tacomos on the next hole here at Waterfront. So technology in these clubs, a faster ball speed is created from the heat treating process, which strengthens the face, allowing for more flex, which gives, as we know, faster ball speeds, but it's also saying it generates a higher max height to help you hold shots onto the green. So that's something we've looked at with Dave and his handicap. We will be looking to get more landing angle to keep the ball onto the green. So we also see the Pure Flex technology. A new badge with seven flex zones allows for more free bending to increase ball speed. So a common theme here, trying to get more ball speed. But this is across the face for longer results in combination with a lower CG. The badge contributes to a solid feel and pleasing sound so again sound is a big thing when choosing new golf clubs we then look at the shape it's a traditional shape so a little bit more compact provides a clean look the shorter hosel helps lower the cg and align it with the force line to increase ball speed and ensure a solid hitch which is something that dave does get a lot of picks it off nice and clean so that'd be something that could really help dave but let's get back now and compare them to the Tacomos before we talk through some more benefits of these clubs. So it'll be very interesting here to see the peak heights from these two irons. So first up is the G430. Before we go to the numbers shortly, this says that obviously we should get faster ball seeds. It is a little bit stronger, but we should also get it landing softer. It's a back pin here. So let's see. Again, both shots have launched a little bit lower than what we expect from Dave. Well, I don't think that's gone any higher than my Tacoma. Do no, I don't. Let's grab your Tacoma now, Dave. Let's grab another ball and let's see how it is. So we can see straight away the top edge on there. If Dave puts them in front of each other, we can, there we go, perfect. We can see a lot more clunky with the pings in comparison to Dave's Tacoma. Again, the look of them, is that something you're going for? Often it is, obviously a case of you want something that looks good in your golf bag. You know the pings are the latest model on the range for them gone back to again looking a little bit bigger so let's see how this seven iron launches with Dave Tacoma again probably a little bit higher very similar flight distance wise pretty much identical yep 
One's on the green and one's a little bit left. But I that might be pilot error as usual. <laughs> I wouldn't say that was the club. But there's maybe it's that bit of offset that's on it. Yeah, ever so slight offset down at the ball, Dave. I, I, yeah, I need to blame somewhere, Chris. It certainly does. As a mid handicap golfer, we always try and find something. But let's get down there. Let's talk about the numbers now. Dave's hit some on track, man. Let's see the dispersion and let's see again, distance wise, are they benefiting Dave? So if we talk through numbers now, we're going to be looking at the G430s first. So we can see that on average, the carry was 135.8 yards, a total of 154.8. So one down the middle, one just a slightly left, and then there was three that still would have been on the fairway, but obviously a little bit left. Flight-wise, we can see at the top of the screen, we can see that the flights did vary. Obviously, peak height getting to around about. 25 feet so the highest shot was at 25 feet which is for dave we're trying to think with those irons they were the original lofts they weren't the power lofts so we was trying to get a little bit more height a little bit more landing angle and that is what's going to help dave reduce his handicap obviously we can see there that it's not really going as high if we move on over to the numbers with the tacomo 101 t's we see that Still left, we know that is Dave, that it's a little bit more towards the centre. There is one just maybe in the left rough, but the rest are fairway or left side of the green. But we know there we was getting an average of 143.7 yards carry going 157. So I'm more focused on the carry number, which is 143.7. So as an average, carrying eight yards further. If we also look at the heights of those shots, Peaking a little bit higher, but a little bit more consistency. So up to around about 30 feet in the air. So again, getting a little bit more height there. Going to be landing softer. And we've seen from Dave's iron so far, especially his scoring irons, that's really that's helping him get his handicap down, feel a little bit more confident into the greens. But let's get back out there to the putting green. So just off the green is the G430. On the green is the Tacomo. Again, both pin high, so both done the job. More pilot error oh, for yeah. this here on the left. So, Dave, all in all, these clubs are coming in at around about £400 more. You'll see that on screen now, guys. So, £400 more, would that make you buy them? Obviously, we see from the numbers, 135 carry, 100, like we know, we've just been through those, 154 total, so 20 yards run out, which, again, is from Dave's impact factors. It is going to go there because, of it's a little bit lower launching. But... My Tacomas go a bit higher and don't roll as far, but get about the same distance. Yeah, so perfectly like we'll get those numbers on screen is that Dave Tacomas actually carry around about the same, stop a little bit quicker, and he enjoys the feel of them a little bit more. So very interesting there, guys. We don't have to obviously spend more money. They are a great iron. Dave's mm. hit them well. His yeah. grouping was pretty good. Mm. He hit one that did go a little bit further than the rest, but averaging out exactly the same as his Tacomos. Next week, we're going to try out these clubs here. Which are the Callaway Paradigm Irons. So these are ones that we're going to test. They are a little bit stronger, but they are designed to do exactly what Dave potentially needs. So check out next week when we're testing these with Mid-Handicap Dave.